quiet, isn't it? It's 5.30 a.m. on Balmoral Beach, Sydney, and we're in meditation. Swami Sarasvati, which interpreted means goddess of wisdom, runs classes for meditation and yoga here in Sydney and spends up to eight hours a day in meditation. Do you come here often? Nearly every night. So I start meditation from about half past one sometimes or three o'clock. Depends on how what time I go to bed. See, I usually have about two hours of sleep or three hours at the most. Now when we do meditation, we don't need as much as sleep as we usually do because you are more relaxed, your mind is relaxed when you are meditating. Don't you find it hurts your legs sitting in one position so long? I know mine are killing me. And I think we get used to it. Now when I do meditation, when I say for eight hours, which I used to do every night in India, but here I haven't got much time to do it because of other work. Now, you sit in one position for eight hours, then you think that you have acquired that position. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. In India, a Swami doesn't charge for teaching meditation and yoga. People give food and clothes to the teacher instead. In fact, one of the Swami's initiation vows is not to handle money. Here in Australia, the Swami finds it's impossible to stick to that law. She charges her students about 20 cents a lesson, or $30 a year. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Have you benefited in any way from meditation classes? Well, before I started meditation, I found that I used to have trouble sleeping and then after meditating and doing the physical yoga, my breathing improved and I found that I slept better and um, as a result, my roommate and I get on much better. Well, I'm only a new student and I'm hoping to become more creative. I'm an artist and sculptress and I've got a little bit, um, shall we say, stale and I'm hoping uh, to become more creative than I have been the last two years. Primarily relaxation and I think it's helped me to turn inwards a little bit. It's helped me with my relationships with other people. It's helped me with my work. <laughs> In case you haven't guessed, this is a yoga class. Yoga is supposed to bring harmony to mind and body and slow the process of aging. Frankly, if I have to stay up here much longer, <laughs> it'll take another 20 years off my life. Everyone sit up with your hands together. Now, if you sit up in diamond posture, interlock your fingers, breathing in, Swami Sarasvati was born into a Brahmin family in Benares along the Ganges. She is 37 years old and looks much younger. Her father is a Maharishi. She came to Australia two years ago to teach people what she has learnt of the way to happiness and tranquility. The Swami believes that Western man is too materialistic. She hopes that her doctrine will help to bridge the gap between Eastern and Western ways. In slowly raise yourself up, hands above your head. Do you ever get into positions you can't get out of? No, I've not, never got into a position I can't get out of, but sometimes I fall out of them. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm rather skeptical of all this Indian voodoo and all these strange Eastern powers, aren't you? No. Oh, oh, oh. Put me down, put me down, help, 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 put me down, put me down.